Hi everyone, Alex here. Continuing with our HVAC series. Today I'm going to introduce you to Insight. We're going to take a brief look at the program, some settings, and set our groundwork to eventually be able to do energy analysis. Let's get to it. Hi everyone, this is Alex with BIM It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. All right, so first we need to make sure we have our tools available. For that, let's go to File, and then Options. And then under Options, you go to User Interface. And right now I have everything turned on, you know, but you can simplify this a little bit. If you're not doing anything structural, you could uncheck. I'm gonna keep mine checked. Um, but as far as what we need for this section, you want your Systems tab, the Mechanical Tools, and make sure you have the Mechanical Analysis Tools also checked. You want to have your Massing, available so make sure you have it checked and also the energy analysis and tools you want to have all that checked and that way you can be sure that whenever you're trying to find your tools you have them available see we have analyze right here and we have massing inside available here etc next thing you want to do is think about your workflow so the typical workflow would be first you define your project location right the building location in terms of latitude and longitude you can do that just inputting your address and it will do it automatically then you define your energy settings, you know, the building settings, whether this is a school, a lab, a hospital, a mall, etc. Then you create your energy model, and then you generate the analytical model, and then we send it up to the cloud for processing. And finally, we optimize or tweak our model uh, using the inside dashboard. So if you've been paying attention to the channel, you know that I love using shortcuts. So let's go ahead and go back to our options. And then under user interface, let's go into keyboard shortcuts. And then let's filter this up a little bit because this is all the commands, right? So let's go under analyze only. And then here, we're gonna follow that sequence that I just told you, right? So let's go one by one, right? So it could be we know we have location, energy settings, model, etc. One, two, three, four, five, some kind of sequence, right? So let's keep location as one. So I'm going to assign. So now I have location as one. Now let's look for energy settings. Uh, there you go, energy settings. This is going to be two. Let's assign. Now create the energy model would be three then we would generate the analytical model that would be this one so or and finally we would optimize which would be five okay okay and keep in mind that you can find all those under the analyze tab under the energy optimization section and you know the location is telling you here that you can find it in two different places under Manage Project Location and also under the Analyze Energy Optimization tab. So you should be able to find everything you need under the Analyze Energy Optimization section. So if you come here to Analyze and then here Energy Optimization, you find your location, your energy settings, you can create your energy model, you can generate your analytical model, and then you can optimize. You could also add those to your quick access toolbars if you want, yeah, but in my case, I'm just going to keep it clean like it is. So if you go to insight360.autodesk.com, you can then log in with your 360 account. And then here you can see all your projects and all that data. Right now I have nothing because I'm gonna create it for you. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is define our project location. For that, you could go to manage, and then here you have it, location. But we also know that we can find it under the analyze tab, right here under energy optimization. Here it is, location. We remember that we did this in a previous chapter, right? We actually inherited from the architectural model. In the architectural model is where we define that location and then we just inherit it. Okay, but if you don't have it, you can just type it here. You can type your location and search and it will find it. And then what you'll see around it is the closest weather stations. So in this case, I have this one, I have this one, I have this one. And the one that is in orange is the one that has been chosen for me, but I could change it to another one. I'm gonna keep the one that uh, it decided that it was the closest one to my location. And if you zoom in into your location, you can see that it has the latitude and the longitude. So it can define where the sun is at each time. 
uh, if you go to your weather tab, uh, this is the weather station information, right? This is what was taken from this weather station right here. So let's say you wanted to change your weather station from this one to this one, you just click on it and then it would become orange. And then this weather station is gonna populate the information that you have on the, the weather tab. In my case, I'm gonna keep the one that we had before. Now, one thing that is pretty cool is that, well, this depends on your browser, but typically you should be able to just zoom in and up and then just click on the street view and then should be able to see a true street view of our project location. I'm gonna hit escape. And if your true north doesn't align with the project north, all you have to do is go into visibility graphics overrides and make sure that under site, your uh, project base point is visible. And then you just change it there. You know, you put 30 degrees or 40 degrees or whatever it is. In my case, I'm just gonna turn it up because mine is aligned and keep going.